Hey everyone it's me Timmy Flyers Guy and I have an announcement regarding Classic Flyers Theater. New episodes will be coming September 17th exclusively on the Timmy Flyers Guy YouTube channel. So get ready for some more action-packed episodes of Classic Flyers Theater. Hey everybody, it's me, Timmy Flyers Guy, and welcome to another edition of the Flyers Guy's Top 10. I'm your host, Timmy Flyers Guy. Um, I got one more video to go after this, and I'll be taking my break until November for the next season of the Flyers Guy's Top 10. In today's episode, it'll be another Philadelphia Flyers related episode. And in today's episode, I'm going to be counting down. I'm going to be counting in today's episode. In today's episode, I am going to be counting down the top 10 worst Philadelphia Flyers seasons. These are some of the these are the seasons that make us rip our hair out. The seasons that make us scream into our pillows. The seasons that make us say, why is this happening? And why is this happening to us? Seasons that are some of the most painful, some of the most worst seasons. Some of the se some some seasons start out good, but then they get bad, but then they get worse. So in this video, we're going to be counting down the top ten worst Philadelphia Flyer seasons. I will not be counting counting down. The 92, 90, I will be counting down 90, uh, 2, 93, to 93, 94. Because those seasons, despite not making the playoffs, they still were very exciting seasons. Because, because those were the seasons that Eric Lindros played for the Flyers. And I will not be talking about the... 2000 season, because although, because although, although there was a lot of tragedies in that season, the passing of uh, Gene Hart, uh, the passing of Gene Hart, the loss of, um, pass, passing of Gene Hart, and Many other uh, sad things that, ha that happened in the 99-2000 season. Oh, and, and, and plus, that was a pretty good season. Flyers made it pretty far that season. So without further ado, we're going to count down the top 10 worst Philadelphia Flyers seasons here on the Flyers, here on the Flyers guys. Top 10. Let's get into the countdown. Okay. And the number... Starting off the countdown at number 10. The 1989-1990 Philadelphia Flyers. This season was the season that Ron Hextall was still serving his suspension after going after Chris Chelios in the 1989 playoff game between the Philadelphia Flyers and the Montreal Canadiens a year prior to this season. Due to Hextall's absence from suspension, the Philadelphia Flyers struggled in the 1989-90 series Placing fifth, placing fifth, placing fifth in the in the in the division, Flyers still failed to qualify for the playoffs that season. It was a tough season for the Philadelphia Flyers, and it, I think this was 
Tim Kerr's last season as the Philadelphia Flyer. As his injuries started to catch up to him, um, really hampering the Flyers' chances of making the playoffs. Many years after, after this season, the Flyers did, did not make the playoffs until 1995. So it was a very, very long playoff drought after the 89-90 series. But the drought, what the drought, this was the start of the drought in 1989-1990 for the Philadelphia Flyers. And now we get into our number nine pick on this countdown. And number nine. And number nine, the 2022-2023 Philadelphia Flyers season. Although this season started out promising, an injury to, an injury to Travis Konechny hampered the Flyers' chances. The Flyers went on a losing streak in the month of November and it lasted it lasted a very long while. Also, this was officially this was this this like they showed a lot of promise, new coach, new identity. But soon as things started out great, they started to get a lot worse. The Flyers had a rough go that season. Fans from other teams, for their fans of other teams began invading the arena. And that was one thing that really changed from this season. Chuck Fletcher did nothing to help this team Get better. Chuck Fletcher was then fired to replace with Danny Briere mid season. This season, although it's, uh, it started out great, it started, although it started out great, at the end, the Flyers' chances of being successful got flushed down the toilet. And that is our number nine pick of this countdown. The 2022-2023 Philadelphia Flyers season. At number eight. At number eight. At number eight. The 2013 post-lockout abbreviated season for the Philadelphia Flyers. In the summer of 2012, it was announced that the NHL would be having another lockout. Due to money disputes, the NHL went on hold until January of 2013. The flyer season officially started in 2013, but before the season get started. A lot of Flyers players were playing overseas. I myself took refuge and watched the minor league at around the Phantoms for the time being. The Flyers 2013 season, it did not look like it was going to be a good season. It did not look like it was going to be a good season. For the Goloff, the Silver Goalie, Jeremy Riager, had left in the summer of 2012. And it was a new regime of Flyers. A new regime that would try to help this team be better. The season 
started on a sour note. Flyers lost the first game of that season to the Pittsburgh Penguins, 3-1. After that, things started to fall apart for the Philadelphia Flyers. There were some peaks of great games, but also those peaks of great games were hampered, were, were overshadowed by the horrible performance of this team. And this was the year that Bruce Galloff finally left the Flyers. He was traded in March. His contract was, they, they bought it, they got rid of Bruce Galloff, terminated his contract. It's in this place, the Flyers were able to sign a goaltender, Steve Mason, which which really helped the team become better at the end of the season. They did have a good game at the end of the season, defeating the Boston Bruins, defeating the uh, Ottawa Senators, and it was a great end to a, to a bad season. 2013 was a horrible season. It, it shows that the Flyers are not good with abbreviated seasons, which might be a theme in this video coming up shortly, shortly as we get into get deep into our, our next picks. So at number eight, the 2013 post lockout abbreviated Philadelphia Flyers season. At number seven, the 2014-2015 Philadelphia Flyers. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. This season, I have to tell you, it wasn't that good. It was not a good season. It didn't start out well, it just really sucked. And the reason why this season sucked, it didn't just suck for the Flyers, it kind of sucked, for, it sucked for me as well, it's because during the 2014-2015 Flyers season, my dad was diagnosed with cancer. Despite my dad eventually feeling better and a little stronger, cancer was still in him. But he still was happy and healthy after the VA season. At the beginning of the season, he was rushed to the emergency room. And that's when he got his first cancer diagnosis. My dad was able to beat, beat it, though. My dad was able to beat, beat it, though. But... I'll get into that later. My dad was able to, to beat the cancer. But, unfortunately, in 2015, in late, during the 2016 season, he was diagnosed with uh, cancer once again. So this season really put a damper on everything. The Flyers lost a very lost to the Montreal Canadiens. Very tough loss. Flyers had a chance to really bury Montreal in that game. And unfortunately, Montreal was able to come back and beat the Flyers. Also, this was the season, this was the last season for, for uh, Vinny LeCavalier. As, I think this, well, this was the year that Vinny uh, LeCavalier started having health issues. Ray Emery, Ray Emery's hip started to 
bother him a lot more. And things just did not go well for this Flyers team. There were some great, great games in this season. But this season just was not meant to be. Loss after loss cost the Flyers big. Flyers had a crucial game that would help them make the playoffs, but unfortunately, the Flyers lost that game and did not qualify for a playoff spot that season. The Cavaliers' performance started to damper the team's chances of really making the playoffs that season. So, at number seven, Number seven, the 2014-2015 Philadelphia Flyers season. When we come back, wait, wait a minute. All right, folks, I'm going to take a quick commercial break. And we will be back as we get to more, as we get to some more, some more picks here on the Flyers Guys Top 10. Thank you for joining me. I will be right back after these messages. Six, the 2016-2017 Philadelphia Flyers season. This was officially the 50th anniversary of the Philadelphia Flyers. Adding a new alternate third jersey with a new gold color. A lot of people we're for the surety and against the surety. I kind of like this jersey. But we're not doing a jersey countdown. That's one of my previous videos from last year, from last season. In this video, I'm going to be talking in this part. And in number six, this is the 2016 2017 Philadelphia Flyer season. This season was a tough season for me. In the summer of 2016, my father officially, my father passed away during the summer of 2016. I contemplated to myself that maybe I shouldn't watch, watch hockey this season my dad's passing. Then I realized I had to. I had to do this. I had to continue to be a fan even if I did not have my dad with me anymore. But his spirit was still with me that season. So the season didn't start out too good for me. Flyers uh, didn't have much of a good start this season. Despite having that long winning streak that they had, that maybe 10 game winning streak they had, I'm not sure how many games it was, but even 10 games. Despite having that big winning streak, the Flyers still failed to qualify to make the playoffs. 
And I noticed a theme. A theme with this team. And that theme was that every during every anniversary season team happened a lot. The twenty fifth anniversary season they didn't qualify for the playoffs. And the fiftieth in the fiftieth anniversary they didn't qualify for the playoffs that season. Despite that despite despite the twenty sixteen, twenty seventeen season being very exciting. There were a lot of downs to this season. Fire chances of making the playoffs were very slim. They got a huge victory over the Penguins in March. Then they had a chance to maybe qualify for the playoffs as they faced off against the Rangers in the last game of the season. Unfortunately, the last game of the, the season did not go the Flyers' way, and it did not end like the 29-2010 season, unfortunately. The Flyers failed to make the playoffs that season. I gotta say there were a lot of, there was there were some ups in this season, the, the winning streak. But there were some downs in that season as well. So at number at number six, the 2016, 2017 Philadelphia Flyers season. At number five, the 2018-2019 Philadelphia Flyers season. This season started out bad. Flyers were absolutely embarrassed and shellacked by the San Jose Sharks in the home opener. Despite winning two games on the road to start the season, their home opener did not go the way that they planned it to go. This was the year that the, the, a mascot for the Philadelphia Flyers was introduced. The Flyers did not have a mascot since the early years of Flyers hockey. They had a new mascot, and that mascot's name was Gritty. Despite the name, this Flyers season was not gritty at all. Flyers were able to get some big wins during that season. They were able to get some big, big wins during that season. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough as the Flyers failed to make the playoffs. This was their second consecutive, their second season in which they didn't make the playoffs. 2016, 2017 was the first year. The year before the Flyers made the playoffs, they were knocked out by the Pittsburgh Penguins in the 2017 playoffs. The 2018-2019 season did not go the way the Flyers planned it. The Flyers made strides to try and make the playoffs, but it wasn't enough as their season officially came to an end. Officially came to an end. The last game was the game against the Rangers, in which the Flyers lost. Despite having an epic win in the stadium series game, the Flyers still did not make the playoffs. At the end of the season, well, this was during the season, it was Wayne Simmons' last season as the Philadelphia Flyer, as he was traded. As he was, as he was traded for Ryan Hartman, the Flyers' heart and soul, Wayne Simmons, was no longer a Philadelphia Flyer. It was a sad ending to a season that held some promise, but not much. So at number five, the 2018-2019 
Philadelphia Flyer season. And now we get into our number four pick on this countdown. And that is the 1990-1991 Philadelphia Flyers. This season was a pretty sad one. Bobby Clark was relieved of his duties as Flyers general manager, and Russ Farwell took over as the PM for the Flyers. Hextall's the injury bug hampered this team as their best goalie, Ron Hextall, was out with injuries. Ron Hextall only played 36 games that season. His injury cost the Flyers big time. As the Flyers failed to make the playoffs in the 1991 season, it was a pretty sad and lackluster season for the Philadelphia Flyers. And I don't really have much to say about it because I don't have much recollection of this season, but I do know it was bad. So number four, the 90-91 Philadelphia Flyers season. At number three, at number three, the 21, the 2021 abbreviated Philadelphia Flyers season. Flyers had a good first game in that season, but it all went downhill as the Flyers were absolutely embarrassed, absolutely bewildered, and absolutely outclassed that season. It was a season from hell, and it felt like it was a never-ending season. The season from all the way into the month of May. The Flyers did not make the playoffs. It was a horrible season, and this was the post-pandemic season for the Philadelphia Flyers. The Flyers were hampered by injuries and, pan and, and protocols that season. It protocols that season. The Flyers failed to make the playoffs. They didn't really do much that season. It was a very frustrating Flyers season. Flyers were absolutely, absolutely outmatched and outclassed in the outdoor classic when they faced off against the Bruins at Lake Tahoe. This season was the season of frustration, anger, and disbelief in all Flyers fans and everybody who loved this Flyers hockey team. This season was the straw that broke the camel's back. But in our next pick, it's about to get worse. So at number five, so at number, hold on a second, hold on a minute. And at number three, the 2021 abbreviated post-pandemic season for the Philadelphia for the, of, the, for the, of, the, of the Philadelphia Flyers. Now we get into our number two pick on this countdown. It's about to get worse. Number two pick on this countdown. Our number two pick on this countdown. Well, actually, our last pick might be worse. But for now, we got at number two, 
Surprise, 2000, 2006, 2007, Philadelphia Flyer season. Oh boy, this season was a doozy. Every game I went to, they lost. Except for one preseason game. This was the season from hell. Flyers could not buy a win. They could not find any success this season. Although this season was a bad season, the seasons after that were pretty damn good. So this season was a horrible season. It was a horrible season. This season, Peter Forsberg's ankle injury was a lot worse. He missed a lot of games during this season. Forsberg was then traded to Nashville for Scotty Upshaw. This season was a season of frustration. This was a season that I would go on to MySpace and complain about the state of this hockey team. State of this hockey team. This season was the season that Dinamaki stood on his head and had some good games. But the Flyers season did not go well. Let's see here. They had a 6 7 to 1 loss to the Sabres, a 6 to 3 loss to the Penguins. And that's when it all went downhill in 06 07. This season was the vein, the season was the season of frustration for many Philadelphia Flyers fans. So at number two, the 2006-2007 Philadelphia Flyers season. And at number one, da 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 at number one, at number one, the 2021-2022 season for the Philadelphia Flyers. Similar to the way the 2022-2023 season started, the Flyers started out great. But unfortunately, things went from good to bad real quickly. This season, the Flyers started to lose games in rapid succession. Pandemic protocols are hampered the team's success, and the injury to Ryan Ellis was a big factor to this bad season. Elaine Vigneault was relieved of his duties after a 9 to 1 loss to the and they lightning. The Flyers then lost the game on Black Friday as the Carolina Hurricanes beat the Flyers in comeback fashion. That was the year I did a live video where I was doing a live stream of the game. During the game, when things started to get worse, I absolutely lost it and I ended the live stream from abruptly due to anger. That season was a season of frustrations. This was a season, the last season, that we would see Claude Giroux in a Flyers uniform. 21-22 was a horrible season. This was a season that Flyers fans wanted Chuck Fletcher to go away. This was the year Chuck Fletcher ruined this hockey team. We all remember that meme of Joe Farabee banging a stick in the locker room. That was a symbol of how bad the 21-2022 Philadelphia Flyer season was. Folks, I'll be right back for my final thought. So stay tuned. And this is the end of the countdown 
so stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hey everyone, Timmy Flyers Guy here. I just wanted to remind you about the Orange and Black recap. The Orange and Black recap will be making its return for the 2024 to 2025 Philadelphia Flyers season exclusively on the Timmy Flyers Guy YouTube channel, my Instagram Timmy the Flyers Guy 215, and the Flyers Extreme Facebook group. And just like that ends another countdown here on the Flyers Guys Top 10. It was great counting these uh these um first seasons here on this, uh, it was great counting down the top 10 worst fire seasons here on this countdown. I know that they're bad seasons, but in a way, they're part of history. And without failure, there is no such thing as success. Guys, thank you for joining me in this video. I will see you next time for the finale of the Flyers Guys Top 10. And after that, I will be back in November for the next season. Guys, thank you for joining me in the next episode. I'll be counting down the Top 10 Best Philadelphia Flyer Seasons. So stay tuned next week for the next episode the next episode and the finale of this season of the Flyers Guys Top Ten. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day and enjoy your week everyone.